Is this the... The spirit? Is she running away from? The Aquiza? 8-bit animation? Is this her mother? I mean, I'm starting to believe it. I think they look the same. They look alike. Bro, the episode just started. Can we chill? <laughs> is he able to be in this form longer now? Like, is he learning how to utilize it? I want to know what that beginning was, bro. I want a whole backstory for the spirit. How are these characters not die? I mean, I understand her. Are her friends okay? We need to check on them immediately. I believe they're dead. The first deaths in Don to Don. Two school classmates. She's kind of protecting Aya, Ida, whatever the fuck y'all want to own it. This is how you say it. Bro, do I look Japanese? The colors. Oh my god. Oh, she's an acrobatter. Okay. Maybe that's what she was doing in the beginning. She was running. She was practicing for the Olympics. Bro, she's fucking scary, man. She's a ballerina. I mean, there's other ways to be together. You don't gotta eat the child. M -m -m Masticate? Only a lunatic uses that word. I don't know one person in my life that has ever said masticate. Only psychopaths say that word. Masticate. You know what masticate means? I don't. Let me look it up. Uh, hey Siri. Uh -huh. What does masticate mean? Masticate means chew food. I thought it meant like abduct. I, oh, it means chew. <laughs> okay. She wants to chew on her. Uh, that's normal. Bro, she reminds me of Palm from Hunter x Hunter. Even the voice. I think you're a pig. You're trying to chew on a child. Holy shit. You see the animation of Okunu moving his eyes? Look at this. Bro, that's insane. Oh my god, this is every week. This is every fucking week. What other anime is doing this that you know? It doesn't start with a B, that's for sure. I love the colors. Dude, I cannot stand. I cannot talk about that enough. It's the colors. Even on Momo's uh, spiritual arm, you know? Like, everything, man. Breaking her legs. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, man, hear me out. I want her to pretzel my head. <laughs> what was that? What? That reaction! <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> oh, shit! You better get the blowing, brother. <laughs> Just kick the bitch. Hurry up, bro. She wants to chew on your friend. You know what? Let her. The way she treated you. Get the chewing, mama. Chew on Pinky. I'll pay you. No, 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 this ain't a movie. This is a TV show, by the way. Oh my god, that sequence. Okunun is growing, bro. Holy shit. Thank god Luffy's okay. I can't fucking believe it, bro. I heard Luffy say bitch more in Don the Don than I've heard the word said by anybody. Bro, I want you to zoom in. You know what? I will. I'll do it for you. I'll do everything for you guys. I'll zoom in on Momo's face right now. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, bro, get her hands off your balls. She's getting too happy about that. 
too comfortable with your nuts. Yes! Okay, can Okunun touch his balls? There we go, finally. Oh my god. That's just one of them, guys. She's dead? Yeah! Didn't even give me a chance to like her. W author. There's a bigger chance of me dropping this anime than Aya Aira, Aya Aira being dead, okay? Airhole? That's her new name, Airhole. More like asshole. To a kinder world. What's that mean? Bro, it stop sticking to the script. Look at the title for the other episodes. One's called Where's My Nuts? The other one's called Where's My Cock? And now it's just To a Kinder World. She's dead. She's dead. How about you check on your friends? I think they're really dead. Yeah, but isn't she spiritual or some shit, bro? She has like a fucking astrology or something. Don't make him put his lips on her. No! How about Momo to CPR and make the cat do it? You know what? Better yet, make Acro, a Acro Samurai do it. Damn, bro. Don the Don's the only anime where I've seen two characters' lips touching. This, this anime is revolutionary. That's how you know I don't watch hentai. Why am I scared? This motherfucker's on her phone! What is she looking at? Dude, what's going on? I think that's really her mother. Oh my god! Is she gonna... Okay, can I finish the sentence? Are you done? I was supposed to have dinner after this, bro. I was supposed to have Cheesecake Factory. What the fuck am I gonna eat now? Oh my god, dude. She's gonna go inside of Aya. Are we really doing this? I hate the girl as much as the next guy, but... Oh, shit. <laughs> this stupid girl. There we go. That's the energy I want. I'm disgusted. Why the fuck would you watch Uzumaki, bro? You got all the horror you need here. Here we go. Come on, science. Saru, whatever you're called. Here we go. Grab that aura. Stop, 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 stop. She's traumatized. Aquarium? Wait, is this her? Is this the spirit? Like, in the human form before she turned into whatever she became? Oh my god, this is her backstory. Is this gonna be tragic? Or am I gonna feel like she deserves it? Let's see. This is very dark so far, man, but I'm loving his perspective. Oh my god. She, she's normal. She's beautiful. She looks like she's doing something illegal. I don't know, I'm getting- I'm sniffing illegal vibes. I'm also sniffing I'm gonna feel bad for her vibes. Look at her reflection through the doorknob, bro. Is she like a prostitute? <laughs> Oh. Oh, it's her daughter. Oh my god. Is that why she looked at the dress like that? Oh. Does she see Aya in her? I don't know why that got me teary-eyed, bro. I guess seeing what she's become, but looking at how normal she looks right now, like a normal life. She did that pose against Okunum before. Oh, this girl's dying. She has death written all over her. How is this the same show? That's the part about this anime that I can't believe. This is the same show. The same show where the main character's looking for his balls. She 
of she got all of that money that way just to get that dress for her daughter. Oh my god, W mother. This is gonna end painfully. Painfully! Like, this girl is gonna die! Like, that should be her name, D.I.E. Die. She is dead! I'm getting nervous with this camera view. I feel like at one point it's gonna turn around and it's gonna be like an empty seat or a casket or something. Look, dude, the way she has to earn her money just to have a smile to get back home with her daughter and give her a life she feels like she deserves. Look at this. It's all worth it. Oh my god. Kill him! Kill him! Grab the fucking shard! This anime has it all. It has it all! You want... Emotion, you go to Don the Don. You want comedy, you go to Don the Don. You go to action, you want action, you go to Don the Don. You want animation, you go to Don the Don. You want romance, you go to Don the Don. You have no balls, it doesn't. You go to Don the Don. It doesn't matter. You go here if you want it. <laughs> oh my God, dude! Hey, how is this the same anime? Are you serious? Oh, they really outdid themselves with this one. She got her daughter abducted because of the lifestyle that she unwillingly got into. The world did this to her. Man, I feel terrible. I feel terrible. I would have became the spirit that she became. Yeah, bro, this, this hits me. This fucking hits me, bro. This hits me. お母さん。お母さん。Do you understand that it's extremely rare for an author to create a story that captivates or blows somebody away that becomes the top of their genre? Don the Don found a way to be on top of several genres. Comedy, romance, action, pain, depression. This is an all-arounder. You know, you have like those baseball players that they can get the home runs. They could run fast. They could catch. They could pitch. They could do everything. They're an all-arounder. Don the Don is an all-arounder. And I've rarely seen an anime like this. Like even Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is nowhere near a comedy. Attack on Titan knows what it is and it's at the top of what it is. This knows what it is. It's so many different genres, but somehow they found a way to blend all of that together to the point where it's not like crazy. You're not like, oh, I'm laughing at this point. Now I'm uh, 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 crying at this moment. It blends together so perfectly that they're not having like a super serious scene and then they hit you with a joke 
or they're having a bunch of jokes, and then they hit you with something serious. You know what I mean? They do it so fucking well, and not many animes could do that. That's my problem with a lot of animes, like Bleach, for example. It could be so serious, and all of a sudden a joke comes out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Not just Bleach. Naruto does it. One Piece does it. Um, e even uh, fucking, what's it called? Uh, Chainsaw Man does it at times. This, dude, this is insanity. This mangaka is a fucking genius. Oh my god. Like, the world has pushed her to this point. She got into a lifestyle that... I don't know the circumstances. Why does she do that? Maybe she was left with this kid alone. So that means the husband's not in her life. So she probably got, like, knocked up or something. Left alone with the child. Now she has to take care of the child her own way. And the only way she could find money is by getting involved in situations. Or getting involved in, like, the underworld, probably. Where... That's where she's running from. You know what I mean? Like, they came to the house and abducted the child. She owed them money, probably. She got into the wrong lifestyle. And now they take away the one good thing in her life. And it's not even her fault. You know what? Like, it's the fucking world that did this to her, man. And you can feel nothing but pain for this animated character. Because it relates to so many people in the real fucking world as well. You know what I mean? This is so real. An anime about a guy losing a little, a, a fucking high school to lose it is nutsack. Could make you feel pain. You know what I mean? Not pain down there, but pain in here. At the same time. Like, who else does that? Fucking liar. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, wait. What? 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 Oh my I love her. I love her. I love her. I take everything back. I'm sorry. I love you. Your bullying is understood. You're fine. I forgive you. Oh my gosh, she doesn't know what's going on. She just thinks she's going away. She's going to fucking sleep. On vacation. And then she thinks that's her child. Dude, I hated this bitch. I wanted the death of her. I was celebrating her death at the beginning of the episode. And now it's like you completely understand. And that shows you not to judge someone. You know, it's like a lesson inside of this shit. Oh my gosh, she saw all of that. I didn't know that. I didn't know she was looking at all of that. I thought we were just seeing that. No, no. No. I'm a mess, bro. I'm a mess. Oh my god. This fucking world did this to her, bro. She did not do this to herself. I won't. I won't. Listen, I'm not into animal cruelty, but I want to choke the fuck out of this cat right now, bro. Momo is such a multi-dimensional character, man. Like you see her. Kind of being in love and asshole-ish towards Okudum, but it's just like a young girl in love. It's like young love. And then you see this dimension to her where she feels for, like, other characters, especially for women. She felt for Turbo Granny, for saving the women that went through all the troubles in the caves and shit. Now she's feeling for her. You know what I mean? Like, it's so multidimensional, man. She's one of the best goddamn characters. I want to see more of that from Okudum as well. And now we're going to see a different side to Aya. Look, she saw all of that. She's changed. Bro, if you're not feeling this, you have no heart. Only people I feel bad for more than her are the people that aren't watching this anime. No, no, no. 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 She's gonna hug her. She's gonna hug her. No, 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 
誰も彼女たちを傷つけたりしない優しい世界へ忘れない If this isn't anime of the year to you, you're not watching it. Do I even have to say it again? The other episodes? Finding Okudun's balls? <laughs> the amount of comedy and action and everything? I did not know this show had this in it. You know, like I, I didn't see this emotional side to it. And this show feels like a living, breathing human being. You know, like a multi dimensional. Um, way more than just the looks and deeper than it seems you know what i mean like a human being has several emotions you might just see one of them you might not know someone too much you know you might not know them deep enough to understand that you know just because you see them smiling doesn't mean they cry doesn't mean they're going through shit you know themselves and this show feels like a living, breathing human being because it has so many different emotions. It could be happy, it could be funny, it could be crazy, it could be loving, it could be hateful, it could become uh, uh, emotional, depressing. And, you know, I've never really watched something like this that has this many layers to it and it just all blends together so perfectly. For example, like I fucking hated this character. The second she was on camera, I, I I trusted her, and then she lost my trust when she turned around on Okuru and talked shit, right? Like, I wanted the death of her. That's why in the beginning of this episode, I celebrated, bro. And then they just fucking hit you. They really hit you with it, and they show you who this character really is inside. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the show. Like, you don't understand what the show is until you really watch more and more and more of it. And even this character, you know, the mother... I'm over here, like, screaming, like, get this bitch off the screen. You know what I mean? Like, these past few episodes. Or, like, hear me out. I don't even want to talk like that with her, bro. And seeing what she went through. W, mother, holy shit. And then you understand everything. And she was able to get that hug, that redemption, right in the end. Instead of leaving and thinking that she is an awful mother, she just ascends or descends wherever. I think she got her clearance there to be able to move on and not live in the void. Man, I say this a lot, but I really mean it this time. This was the episode of the year. This is one, one of the best episodes of anime that I've watched. I think it was beautifully done. Animation was on another level. The storytelling was on another level. The OST, the character development, everything was on another level. It makes you feel for a character you thought you wouldn't have one emotion towards other than happiness once they died. But no, I am not feeling happy after she died, man. Wow. Empty. I'm feeling fucking empty, man. Shit. What a beautiful episode. What a sad episode. 11 out of 10. Best of the season. And I wish we had more of this, honestly. Because it shows that Don to Don is not to be fucked with, man. Seriously. This is a one-of-a-kind experience. And it's hands down, 100%, without a fucking doubt, anime of the year. One of the best animes I've reacted to. And we're just in the beginning of the story. And I can't even imagine where the story goes, man. Wow. All right. That's going to be it, y'all. <laughs> Sayonara. <laughs> wow. <laughs>